1997, Richard Branson and the Virgin Company won the West Coast franchise, naming it Virgin Trains. They already had a set of a couple of HSTs, some Class 90 sets, MK3 carriages, and also some Class 57s. In the same year of 1997, Virgin Trains made a new company called Virgin Cross Country. They had a set of Class 43 HSTs, some 87 sets and MK3 carriages. They were a new company that was soon going to be Cross Country by Arriva. Then in 2002, Virgin Trains made an order for a new fleet. These were going to be the new fleet for the train for the whole entire fleet and will replace all the HSTs and all the Class 87s. Yes, these were the new fleet, the Pendolinos and the Voyagers, also known as Class 220s, 221s, and also Class 390 Pendolinos. The Pendolinos were a pack of tilting trains. After the failure of the APT, Britain tried to make the tilting train again, which actually worked. The high-speed DEMUs, also known as the Voyagers, and the 221s, 220s, they were not tilting trains, unfortunately. But they did make a good high-speed train. There were only two derailments, one in Chester and one in Greyig. The Greyig Cumbria crash was due to a fault on the tracks, causing the train to derail. The train was a Class 390 Pendolino. There was one death, 30 injuries were recorded, seriously, and 54 were minor. On the 1st of March 2015, Virgin Trains East Coast was introduced. It began operation of on, of course, 1st of March 2015. They had a set of Class 91's MK4 carriages and and MK3 carriages and also some HSTs. Then unfortunately, Virgin Trains East Coast ended operation on 2017 to 2018. Then LNER took over, but we will not we will not talk about that because LNER is not part of Virgin. Then in 2016, there was a derailment at Chester Platform 1, where a voyage got derailed. Only one was injured. Then in 2019, Virgin Trains saw its last ever day of operation when First Group and Trenitalia came to say hello with its new franchise, Avanti West Coast. They already had a set of Pendolinos and Voyagers, but apparently they will be replacing all the Voyagers with, guess what, more IETs. Yep, you heard that, more IETs. But let's not make it Yowie news for once, because now Yowie has already said it. So now, it looks like Virgin Trains had it in operation. But let's go back into the past. Virgin also made the first ever electric Voyager. Virgin Cross Country is now with Arriva and is now taken over by Arriva. Virgin Trains saw its last ever day of operation in December. Ooh, my birthday. Virgin Trains has the longest ever running franchise in the whole of Britain. Virgin Trains East Coast was actually founded in 2003 but didn't begin operation in 2015. 
Virgin Trains is the was the only train company to have tilting trains on its fleet. And last of all, Virgin Trains is amazing. F in the chat for Virgin Trains, please. In fact, Virgin Trains ran to Manchester Piccadilly, Glasgow Central, Wales, yes, you heard me right, Wales, Scotland, Manchester, Chester, Holyhead, London, and for VTEC, Newcastle, Edinburgh, and um, that's about already I know it. <laughs> okay. It's a goodbye from me now. Hope you enjoyed this video because it took me so long to make it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Delta and Qatar's Transport Adventures. Thank you for watching. The train now approaches platform 2. It does not stop here. Stand back from the edge of platform 2.